Dennis Jones. Yes. Uh, welcome to Australian Musician and welcome to Melbourne. Thank you, Greg. Appreciate it. Uh, you've just come off the Melbourne Guitar Show, our Melbourne Guitar Show. You played a, a set uh, with your Melbourne-based band yes. on Saturday. Uh, and then part of the Triple M Jam on the Sunday. Mm -hmm. How was your whole uh, weekend experience? It was a great experience. It was, uh, you know, just incredible musicians and get to share the stage with people and, you know, meet new musicians from around the world and here in Melbourne. It was great. Um, I really look forward to it. It was everything I, I expected. Everything. Yeah. Let's let's go back a little way. Um, you grew up in small town America. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the moment that you decided that uh, music was going to actually be a career? That was, um, I think after I got my first guitar when I was 13, I, I just got the bug and I, I knew that was something I, that was always going to be in my life. And then when I was in my first band, when I was about almost 16 years old, I knew then that that's something that I want to do the rest of my life. But it took me a while to get to that t point, but uh, it definitely uh, was there at a young age, no doubt. Uh, the guitar heroes growing up? Guitar heroes growing up, um, it was, um, you know, Hendrix was one of the first um, came to my attention because I was playing rock, so I think, um, you know, be, people brought that to my attention real quick, and um, Santana, um, you know, people in that vein, you know, Clapton, people that were playing, you know, my older brother was went to the Woodstock generation, so I listened to a lot of his music, and that was what influenced me. Yeah, you've actually met uh, quite a few of your heroes. Tell me about some of the people you've met and, and those experiences. Uh, I had a chance to open for Johnny Winter, um, and go into his trailer and meet him and talk to him for a while. That was that was amazing. Um, uh, let's see. Oh my gosh, I, I <laughs> Buddy Guy. Um, uh, there's a lot of people. I'm not all sinking in right now, but I I had a chance to meet a lot of my heroes that uh, that I really. Um, you know, looked up to and and uh, uh, Robin Trower or some other people that that uh, in my youth I always wanted to to you know hopefully I didn't happen I really had no idea I was going to meet him but I was hoping that it was happening one at some point and it did so yeah uh, I've seen photos with you uh, with people like Eric Gales and mm -hmm. uh, Guitar Shorty uh, yes. being in LA uh, I guess you you're in the best spot you're running into these guys all the time yeah I do uh, Guitar Shorty is a good friend of mine. I knew about Eric Gales for, for many years, and I just met him at the Memphis at the Blues Music Awards. Um, uh, Xavier from, um, from Fantastic Negrito, I met him. He's a, he's a really uh, incredible, got an incredible story, just um, you know, out there working it. Um, just a lot of my friends, Sugar Ray Rayford, a lot of people that I know from, from, the, from the scene back there. and. Uh, you know, we, we go to NAMM and also to like Memphis at the Blues Music Awards and it's kind of like a little reunion we meet and and, uh, and the rest of the time we're usually all on the road or touring and stuff. So, uh, but it's nice to, to see people out there, you know, doing it and, and, and living the, the, the life, the blues life's lifestyle. Uh, you've released uh, six albums so yes. far. Um, with each album, do you, do you feel that you're progressing or what do you try to achieve with each new release? I just, uh, it's like a journey to me, um, you know, it's a continuation of, of, of the music I've always loved and, you know, I like to mix blues with, with uh, rock, with a little funk, even country sometimes. It's, uh, it's American music, it's Americana to me, but um, it's just the way that I, you know, mix it up and, and present it. I just write what I love to write and hope other people like it. I'm not a kind of person that really writes for others or whatever. I just do what, what's in my heart, and if it connects with people, then I'm on the right. I'm doing the right thing, and it has so far. Um, you've managed to uh, sort of get your foot in the door into Europe. Uh, tell me about yes. um, that market. The European market is, is very good. It's 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 hard to get in, like many other markets, and uh, if you're an unknown, you know, um, if people don't know you, but. Um, uh, the bass player wizard from the band called Mother's Finest, which was a band that I loved when I was a kid and uh, a teenager, and um, he's a bass player in L.A. and he uh, he helped me get there with, through his booking agent, and uh, we use uh, Gary Sullivan, a drummer that's also very 
well known in Europe. So I went out the first time with a with a, a, um, a rhythm section that was already well known, which helped me get my foot in the door. And now I'm able to take my band back, and and we're doing really well. We started off, you know, doing okay, and now it's just grown every year. And we're going back again in, in January 2020. So we're looking forward to that. Doing hopefully doing a bigger tour. Uh, I know you're a, a bit of a gu guitar builder. You're into putting bits yes. and pieces together. Um, tell me about the guitar that you've. Uh, Bought out here to Australia. Oh, uh, this is uh, was the first hardtail that I built. Um, I built a lot of guitars, and, and normally, um, if you're not familiar, a hardtail is um, when it doesn't have the springs in the back. It's it's more of a telly style, but um, it just has an incredible sound to it. Um, uh, the note separation, and you know, if it's clean or distorted, it sounds amazing. And I have lots of guitars that I've uh, assembled. I don't call it building. I buy parts that I like. I have big hands, so I try to find necks that are nice and fat for me, and I, I'm really good at building. I've been doing it for over 20 years, and some of my friends actually play the guitars that I've assembled as well. But um, I, the stuff on the shelf from Fender has really, they're good guitars, but I don't want to spend you know, the money for a custom shop, and I can make something on the same level uh, for a lot less money by just finding what works for me and putting it together. Um, but I love Fender guitars and I have a few Les Pauls as well and uh, um, some Epiphones. I just, um, but assembling them is something that I, I just love doing, you yeah. know. I, I really uh, so you've got the great guitars, uh, what do you play them through? I have, um, I have a few, uh, they're called TKM amps, I have two of them, they're from, uh, they're from Canada, from, from Calgary, uh, there's a small amp builder there named Terry Mertz that uh, built them for me. I also have uh, lots of Fender amps, uh, tons of Fender amps, of so Vibro King, Vibro Verbs, and um, uh, stuff that I haven't <laughs> played in many years, but I, I still have them, um, but I also, um, I have a, uh, a Bogner Shiva, which is a great, great amp too that, I, that I'm going to start using. I just took it out of storage. I'll start using it in some of the bigger concerts again. I forgot how amazing it was and it's a really, really great amp. Yeah. Uh, so you head back to LA. Um, uh, are you looking at uh, writing for a new album, recording? Um, actually, while I'm here in, in Melbourne, I'm in, um, you know, writing. I have some days off here, so I've been writing and, and um, just... Uh, Putting, putting some songs together and for my next album. next I don't know exactly when it's going to come out. Uh, the live album's still doing well that I did last year. And, uh, but I'm just, um, just I, I love writing and, and, and seeing what direction it's going to head to the next, you know, to the next record. So um, hopefully in, in 2020, I'll have something fresh, something out there for, for the public to get. All right, Dennis, uh, thanks for coming to Melbourne and uh, we'll catch you next time. Thank you, Greg, for having me. Thank you.